Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to tell you how you're going to start a digital marketing agency. Now I'm not going to take a lot of your time by telling you very relevant things, I'm going to get straight to the point with the details. So there's a few things that you're going to need to, you know, decide before starting a digital marketing agency. Now to start things off, first of all, everything needs to start off with a niche. Okay, you're going to start what type of digital media will you be marketing? Okay, there's a lot of niches. You can also search up digital marketing niches and they're going to give you so many niches. So there's social media contents. Uh, there's, you know, e-commerce, web development, email marketing, mobile marketing, influencer marketing, anything you want. It's available over here. So first of all, you're going to choose your niche, you know, what niche is best for you. So the best type of three niches right now are obviously social media, e-commerce and email marketing. So in this video's case, let's say I'm going to go with email marketing. Okay, what is email marketing? Act of sending a commercial message typically to a group of people using emails in it, right? Now, what kind of softwares do you use for this? So digital marketing can be done without software. So once you've chosen a niche, you're going to take the niche for that software. So let's say in my case, if it's email marketing, the best email marketing software out there is MailChimp, in my opinion. So obviously, we can come over to MailChimp right here, and uh, you can start working with your MailChimp, okay? Because your email marketing can be done without a software, and your uh, digital marketing can be done without a niche. Now, once you've decided these two things, from there, the third step is how you're going to get clients for digital marketing agencies. So you're going to do a lot of cold mails and a lot of cold work at first to actually get clients. Obviously, you're going to start off with less people. You're going to go to higher people. And obviously, you're going to want a lot of investment in this because their digital marketing agency just doesn't start like that. So you're going to need hosting. You're going to need domains. Once you get that, you're going to need a lot of people. You're going to need people to work with because an agency is an enterprise. And to work with an enterprise, you need a lot of people. What I'm going to be doing is uh, we're going to be talking about Synthesia in a very quick way. So Synthesia is basically a generation platform where you can create an AI video using these AI models over here uh, and some texts. OK, and it's totally free. No credit card required. Just sign up with their page and uh, they give you 140 plus avatars, 120 plus uh, languages and accents and 60 plus pre-designed templates. You can also create your own avatar, but that does take some cost. But yeah, this is how it's going to look. They're going to give you a standard avatar. You can add videos over it, and then you can also add text prompts under it. So Synthesia.io, use it right now and get the best free video AI generations. So you can upload images where you can ask it questions regarding this image. So let's say I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to upload this image of a bun and I'm going to write, what is this? Okay, I'm going to write that. I'm going to click on enter. Now, once you write that and you ask, what is this? We're going to wait for it to search up and it's going to give us an explanation on what this image contains. So it says, you know, I cannot access and process the image. Obviously, if the image is a bit blur or if you don't provide the images link, it might do some mishaps, but it will generally tell you what the image is. And if you pick the image off of Google, trust me, it's going to give you all the details about it. Like you can pick up any image from Google Images and you're going to get the data you want. So that is basically Google Bard AI, and that is how we're going to use it for ourselves. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do make sure to drop down a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make more for you. Till then, that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll see all of you in the next video. Goodbye. Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft Bing Image Creator. This is very, very interesting, guys very useful you will be able to create amazing designs as you can see over here these particular images are simply powered by dali 3 which as you may have guessed is extremely powerful very important first thing you want to click over here join and create you want to create in after you sign in right with your account now for example over here guys we are going to create something unique we are going to create a city in the middle of the ocean that is looking like New York City. Well guys now we are waiting to see what will be the result over here. 
very very interesting you know it is it is easy to use you don't have to have a specific particular knowledge or you don't have to be a designer or, or creator you can just use your imagination it usually takes uh, a while but it depends on the traffic depends how many people are using it if you can see over here what uh, has been given here as an idea as inspiration if you can see there is uh, an astronaut right that is not actually in the space it looks like he's floating somewhere else uh okay oh wow just look at this look at what we created over here guys if you click on on one of these images right you're gonna essentially have this amazing amazing creation so guys what we can do this first of all you can click share right you can share this uh to a website you can share you can copy the link you can uh you know put the link inside your blog post you can come over here on the plus sign that you see over here you can essentially save this into your images because you have a collection right usually people create collections or you can click on the three dots over here and simply click download this is simply uh, unbelievable as you can see the quality of it is saved in 262 kilobytes so it is not a large uh, format right so you click over here you click download and then you simply download it okay this is how simple it is so if you look at the other images, so if we close down, we can look at, wow, well, look at this image, guys. This is simply unbelievable. Just think about how you can utilize this in your own, you know, world. Just, you see, we have a two uh, stages of liberty, right? You have multiple crossing bridges it's absolutely stunning and this has just been generated and created from uh like i said just one simple prompt look at this so guys this is how simple it is if you want to change something right you can click on the text underneath and you can essentially add to your previous prompt for example uh you know if you if you want to come over here you can simply create and you can add more to the items the more important part over here is that uh, you have this uh, small uh, lightning on the side uh, so this might essentially means that creating images more quickly with boost that will essentially help you to speed up the whole process right this is kind of an upgrade so uh, essentially you can utilize many many functions but this is simply mind-blowing guys for more tips and tricks like this subscribe and come back for more hi guys in today's video i'm going to show you how to use the magic media studio and how you can utilize different projects by simply using the ai image generator from canva all you gotta do is to come over here on the apps inside the canva app and then you want to scroll down and look for different apps that are currently trending you can find something that you like you can find something new you can find something that is recommended from the app itself but we are going to look for magic media we're going to use magic media because this is the proprietary and it's uh, very very fast it works easily you will be able to understand exactly how you can generate images logos and other projects so when you come over here you want to use a brand new design if you don't have an existing one that you want to change when you click create a new design we're going to use the AI image generator to create uh, some new social media post. So previously we did some logos, we did some uh, you know small adjustments, but as you can see over here, you can create a t-shirt design, right? You can sell something. We have a desktop wallpaper. So for example, if we want to create a desktop wallpaper, this simply will change the ratio, the ratio of our image. So the way how the magic media works is that you will have this window where you're going to input your prompt. And then if you scroll down, you can essentially change the layout or the filter or the style of which uh, will apply to your image. Also, if you want to change the aspect ratio to a landscape in our example, simply because it will be a wallpaper, right? You can do it. So create a Hawaii vibe uh, place 
uh, with infrastructure like New York City make the beach in the middle of the city around times square okay let's see <laughs> let's see how this crazy image will look like guys but essentially this is how it works so you're going to get like a four different versions of this image generated from the ai and you can pick which one you like uh, if you don't like any of it or you you want to change something right you can simply uh, scroll down and you will have an option like for example i can come over here and we can continue our prompt we can include more stuff as we like to right we can add more details and we can click generate again. This will give us another example. If I click on one of the images and simply make it larger, this is one of the benefits of AI. You probably wonder what is it? The benefit is that even if you make an image large, this will not ruin the quality because this is not a JPEG, right? This is why this is so good. And this is why we, we really like it. So essentially this is how nice and if I zoom in, you could see that this looks awesome, right? Can you imagine this really to, to be true? <laughs> we have this crazy, crazy beach. It reminds me of Chicago, to be honest with you guys. But this is how you can create a wallpaper using magic media on Canva AI. For more tips like this, guys, subscribe and like this video. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to use AI image generator on Canva. Very easy guys, very simple. The first thing I want to do is come over here at the canva.com, you want to stay on the home page and when you're over here you want to click on the upper left side of the screen where you see the three straight lines. This will launch additional menu and then you're going to click on the apps. Then you want to click on discover apps so you want to make sure you browse all the apps over here so the first thing that we're going to focus is we're going to actually look for the uh, canvas own proprietary technology app which will be magic medium so in this example we are going to utilize magic medium this is the first icon over here in this example we are going to use the ai image generator of canvas ai we are going to create a brand new design and as you can see over here you have a like a pre-made templates for anything that you want to create so for example if you want to create a story if you want to create a logo if you want to create a email newsletter presentation anything is here guys so for example if you want to create a instagram post you have the square option over here in our example we are going to create a logo and the way how this actually works is that when you come over here, you have to type a particular prompt. When you type the prompt, you also have to choose underneath the style of the prompt. So in our example, we are going to create a New York City uh, in the space with flying cars and uh, what else what else and like a connecting roads in the space to other uh, planets okay guys so we we pick this one and we're going to select our style you can you can just pick something else right you don't have to be uh, some of these styles but you can collect all of these styles these styles will change the way how the image actually looks like after it's generated i don't like any of it you can also have the option c also you can pick more styles but I want to see how the city will look like without the, the actual filter on top. 
So as you can see now, the AI generates the image based on our prompt. Uh, usually works uh, pretty fast. As you can see now, we're, we're having the first image already generated and it looks very, very cool. The second one, oh, look at, yeah, I think, I think this is very, very nice. So if you click on the image itself, you will see the best thing about AI is that even if you adjust the size of it, right, it's still going to look very, very cool. It's not going to reduce the quality as the usual JPEG that you will have. I want you to remember this. Now, if you click on the upper side, you can essentially copy. Uh, you can paste elements on top of it like a usual Canva project. Uh, remember, this is something that will will find its 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 shape and its form, right? So this is how you change the current aspect ratio. And then you can essentially go back or you can create another file over here and create a mockup for, uh, let's say a collage, right? Let's go back and let's see how the other images actually look. Because the main idea was that when you actually utilize Canva magic uh, uh, media, right? This is just one tool. Remember, it is very important for you to know exactly what you want to create and to input as many details as possible. The more details you input inside the prompt, the better the output and the results will be. For more tips like this, guys, subscribe and like this video. Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use AI image generator inside the Canva app. In the previous videos, we went through animation apps, we went through DALI, we went through Magic Studio. You want to make sure you watch these videos, guys, so you understand how to use these apps, what kind of results we got. In this example over here, guys, I'm going to go through Imagen. So this is uh, essentially based on AI software coming from Google. Uh, very, very interesting. I have a huge hopes about this. I read uh, good things about it. So let's jump in. The first thing that you want to choose is are you going to create something from scratch like we are planning to do or you have existing project in Canva app that you can import and start working on it. In our case, we're going to choose a brand new project and we're going to create, I would say, uh, I would say something nice, photo wallpaper, this sounds cool. Okay, so as you can see over here, turn your text into photorealistic AI, a beautiful oil painting of Bergen. You see what are the results. So let's dive into the prompt itself. Create a painting of Monte Carlo during the winter let's see what we're going to get guys so google imagen will simply give you only two variations dali will give you two variations uh the magic studio will give you four variations so the result content does not meet our policy what is the policy i don't know oil painting of monaco another try we didn't use any brand, right, guys? We just used the name of the city, Monte Carlo. They, they thought we were probably talking about the casino Monte Carlo. <laughs> okay, guys, we do have some results over here. Wow, look at this one. Let me type for you. So you can always make these pictures larger by simply dragging the corners. I don't like the, the ratio of the template right we have to move it on the side so we'll be able to see but i think it's so pretty guys it's so beautiful do you see all the details of monte carlo it's beautiful all the the marina and everything just think about now if you have like some of these crazy printers that can print like the actual materials right they can print with with particular like uh like a pronounced design that it could be like you can touch the whole difference in the buildings right it's amazing. This is how you can use Imagen from Google, guys. I think this is my second favorite. The first one still remains to be Magic Studio from Canva AI.
For more videos like this guys, subscribe and like this video.